Hi everyone, Kalani Ains here today with another plushy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you all the different border collies that I have in my collection. I have managed to collect quite a few, so I apologise if this video takes a little while. I'll try not to linger too much on them and just show you um, sort of just the brand, what they look like, their little faces, so you can have a look. I thought we would start off today with my Douglas ones. So from left to right we've got Sheba the Collie, Chase the Border Collie and then Little Zippy. Um, I know that Sheba doesn't inherently say Border Collie, it just says Collie on the tag but uh, she was sitting there with Chase and I thought why not have her in the video. I'll just bring her a little bit closer. She's such a sweetheart, I definitely love Sheba. I love the, the brown and the white, it's really unique. So see what I mean, it just says Sheba Collie. Close enough for me to pop her in this video of all my Collies today. We can have a look at Chase. Very cute. I definitely have a soft spot for Border Collies. Um, one of our actual dogs that we have is a cross with a Border Collie, he's a Lab Cross Border Collie, so not sure if that's where it comes from. I just, yeah, I've always loved dogs and Border Collies is one of my faves. So maybe one day, guys, we'll have a real one. <laughs> But for now, we've just got these ones. And this is little Zippy. She's got such a curious little face about her. There she is. I'm not sure what was going on with the seller when they uh, sent this one. I got this one on Amazon last year and they like, I don't know, they put like a staple in the tag. I can't get it apart. I may be able to, but I feel like I'd probably just ruin the tag. So, but I just thought it had a really cute face, so I was like, oh, I'll keep it, even though they did that. I hope they don't do that to other people. Has anyone else had any uh, horror or interesting Amazon or online purchases stories when they do things to collectible items? I don't get it. Anyway, share below if you've had any interesting stories, and I will pause and bring out some other plushies for us to have a look at. Okay, and we're back here with three more to have a look at. I know you, for anyone who has been following me for a while, you may have already seen Brandy and Patch here, the two Boschetta ones. I really love, um, and I have mentioned this before, how cute is Brandy? I love the colouring. It's just so unique. Um, for anyone who's interested in looking at some other Boschetta plush, I do have my Boschetta plush collection video up on my channel as well. That's what I was talking about, Boschetta. And it's Brandy, really super unique. I love that she's got that brown and white instead of the usual black and white that you generally see. So that's Patch. And then the little cutie here on the right, I have shown you guys before in my Crimco Little Friends video. But I thought we're doing a full video of Border Collie, so I'll bring her back out to show you. So we'll just have a little bit of a look up top. Not sure if that helps anybody. It's just so interesting when I fooled out all these border colors just looking at just their faces and the brands and oh, I just, it's nice. It's nice to do these videos and pull them back out and have a little look. But anyway, as I was looking, I noticed that I have this other border collie, which I purchased from the hospital um, not long before I had my son. He's now two when I had a hospital appointment when they checked him out while he was still in the womb. And uh, I've just realized, guys, that they look... They look quite similar, I think, these two. So the Elka Australia one and the Karimco Little Friends. They look kind of like twins. Like that very similar in size and they look quite similar from behind as well. I have no issue with that. I think they're still really cute and I wouldn't trade one of them. But um, I just thought it was really interesting they've gone for that similar design. Not sure if they were made perhaps or produced in the same factory and they've popped a different tag on. I don't mind. I think they both look really cute and they're obviously both very special to me in my collection. Anyway, I'll pop these ones aside and grab some other ones. Okay, so this is another interesting bunch to have a look at. We've got the Kiel toys and the Karimco ones here to show you. Um, I think, please don't quote me, but when they're sold in Australia, they're branded as Karimco, but they're the same as Kill Toys, so like under the same umbrella, so they're the same brand, I guess, if you're having a look at them. Um, 
interesting when I've been looking through these ones is just the changes that they've made. Obviously, when they used to make these bigger, uh, I mean, bigger sized keel dogs, they made them sort of with the smaller eyes. And in recent times when they've done the Cuddle Puppies range, they've done those bigger eyes. So that's kind of cool to have the two different types there. If you can see them, they're laying down. It's a little bit hard for me to oof, show you the difference, if that helps. <laughs> this one here is on a bit of an angle. Maybe I can try and prop them up. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the difference in them. Both that Keel Toys, but they've just changed. And this one here, it's got the name collar on with Jess. And this new one with the Cuddle Puppies doesn't have a name. So you can choose a name, which is cool. And these ones, I'm not sure which one I got first. They're essentially the same, but I couldn't decide which one to keep. So I have two. <laughs> My husband's probably like, what are you doing? So these are both... Keel toys, they're from the Simply Soft collection. Not too much information to show you there, but just says the 25 centimeter standing floppy border collie. I think this one says exactly the same. Oh, this one says 20 centimeters. So if hubby ever says that they're not, uh, that if he says they're the same, I can be like, no, one is slightly bigger. <laughs> eh, he already thinks I'm a bit crazy. That's fine. He still loves me. Anyway, but this is Mary. They're both Mary. One of them I had um, when I was a little girl and the other one I purchased um, secondhand from a thrift store. I just think they look really cute together and I couldn't leave it there. It was just so cute. But it's interesting to see the different change, as I said, in the Keel toys. So there's Mary. And then these two are quite similar in terms of size. Again, it's Karimko heel very much the same the little pups this one is see how it's got that Karimco sticker on the back there this one I purchased from um, Maya which is a store here in Australia and they popped that there see exclusively distributed in Australia by Karimco yeah so Kiel toys when it's here it's Karimco anyway so this is a smaller Jess to the one that I showed you before. She's super, super fluffy. You can barely see her eyes, but she has such a sweet face underneath all that fur. She's really cute. And then this one, which is very similar, you can see the eyes a bit better. At first I thought they were the same, but then this one's got a different name. Shep. So you've got mini Jess and Shep. So that's really cool. So there are those guys as we're going through um, yeah if you see one that you would like me to show you a bit closer or in a bit more detail in another video please let me know or if you've got a fave let me know <laughs> I love seeing uh, everyone's opinion on which one they like better sorry for anyone who is hoping to see different breeds of dogs this whole video is border collies as for the title um, but hopefully there's some other border collie fans out there like me Anyway, I'll pop these ones aside and get out some new ones to show you. Alrighty, so we have seen the cutie on the left before in my previous video. This one here, this Border Collie, which is one of the Faithful Friends ones, which I've shown you guys before. The 12 inch Border Collie. The one in the middle is Nana from Snow Dogs for any Disney fans out there. She is as clean as I can get her. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the previous owner was a smoker and I just cannot get out that yellowish sort of tint that you can see there. I have washed her and brushed her. She's been conditioned. She smells better, but just in terms of that stain, I just can't get it out. Anyway, she just looks like she's just had a little bit of a playtime in the dirt and that's fine. So this one was originally from the Disney store. I do also have um, Demon and Mac, I believe, are their names. I can show you guys them another day. Uh, Demon I got new, and then Mac was from the same home as this one, so has also had a bath. But I thought I would bring out Nana here in the Border Collie video, being a Border Collie. And the one here on the right, which I don't think I showed you guys when I did my Garns Heritage Collection video, because she was not here yet. This is the Garns 
Heritage Collection Border Collie. I love her face. It's very quizzical and cute. And yeah, definitely love that Garns range. They make some beautiful plushies. Super duper soft. Lovely. So there's that one. There's those three. I figure we can just leave them there for a moment while I bring out some other ones. Just so you can have something to look at. I'll just bring out a few. So there's this next one who is super duper cute and I say that about all my plush, sorry. <laughs> this is the Suki or Yumiko Classics small little border collie. She is adorable. I think I may have named her. Oh, I'll just have a look back when I used to write their names on the back. Emmy, I think short for Emily. I named her Emmy. There's that one. Then this next one is another thrift store find. It's a Karimko friend. Not sure if this one was named by me. No. So this one has that sort of that co-hair fur, which is a bit different to the other ones that I have here. She looks a little bit more scruffy than the other ones, but she's still got that black and white. So I've just included her here. So she's another thrift store rescue. Who else is another thrift store rescue here? This one here, who kind of um, has a bit of a wandering eye sometimes, depending on how you're looking at her, but she's very unique, I feel. She is A and A plush. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if I even have any others in this brand. See, I got her back in 2013. She also got the name. I named her Shay and we've got the date that I got her. This is the 24th of 7, 13. Yes, I did used to keep track of when I got them. <laughs> That's like their rescue birthday. I don't do that anymore just for the sake of, um, I don't know if it makes them any more collective if you don't write on their tags, but for any ones that I used to collect, particularly when I was younger and, um, yeah, I used to write their name and when I got them on the tag. Yes, I'm a bit of a dog. I own it. That's that's who I am. Anyway, next one. This one is another thrift store find. Couldn't leave her there. It's very cute. This is by the Christopher collection. I'm not in sure yet. I named her Rosie. Another 2013. 2013 was obviously a lucky year for finding border collies. So there's Rosie. And this one was a gift from my husband. This is a Dinky Dime Mates one. Very Aussie of us. Designed in Australia. So that one's quite interesting. I wonder if this one got a name. Yes. Oreo. <laughs> Very original of me. The black and the white. Oreo, the border collie here. So that one's pretty cute in that sitting up position. I'm trying to power through guys so that you are not sitting here for half an hour <laughs> looking at my border collies. I believe this one is another thrift store find. This is a Teddy and Friends brand one. Short hair, yeah, she's got a loose thread there. Oh, nope, but she didn't get a name. So this one's really sweet. Fits in your hand. It's really cute. Just different. I don't know. Can't help myself. I see them. I'm not sure if anyone else is the same when you go to a thrift store and you see them and they're just like, they're looking at you. It's almost, I, I can't bring myself to not bring it home. I don't know what it is. I can't help myself. Anyway, that's why I uh, had to put in a bit of a stop going to the thrift store for a little while when my collection was just getting out of hand. Because <laughs> I'm a shocker. I just feel like they need a home. Anyway. This is another one, which is a different brand. This is Antique Soft Touch. This one's name is Mac. I think it does go to a little uh, lamb plush that I have. They sort of go together in that range. I'll try and find that lamb for you guys another day. It's in that nice standing position. It's quite, um, it's still very soft, but it definitely holds itself up well. So that's nice to have it in that sort of different position can have a look at it from behind. So that's Mac. Who else do we have here? Yeah. 
I've, I think I've figured out why I have so many Border Collies because a lot of them are um, secondhand babies. So this is another one that I got pre-loved. She's quite big in terms of size and this one was from Animal Alley, so Toys R Us. Again guys, 2013. <laughs> so funny. So I got a lot of different pre-loved babies in 2013 and I named her Alley. Slightly different spelling from the Alley in Animal Alley but still went with Alley. So she's really cute. She's had lots of cuddles. There's that one. Not too many more to go, guys. Another pre-loved baby from a thrift store. Really cute with that little love heart in her mouth. This one is Karimko as well. I did not name her. I assume I found her around Valentine's Day or I would have her out around Valentine's Day gives me Valentine's Day vibes. Very cute. That one. And I got three left. Okay, so this one I got from the Royal Melbourne show when I was a little girl. I saved up my pennies. <laughs> well not pennies, I saved up my pocket money and got this one. So this one is Jess from the RAS from the show. Instead of uh, getting a show bag, I brought this because I just thought it was so cute. I still do. It's very lovely. I'm not sure if I wrote anything. Oh, <laughs> I wrote Jess on there, even though it says it on there. You know, the things you do when you're like eight or nine or however old I was at the time. So that's Jess. And this one is Jess as well. That It's essentially the same dog, but I can't. Again, I'm sorry everybody, I got this one from the thrift store because again I could not leave her there. But anyway, she's a bit worn out but she's very well loved by me. I keep them together and I attempted to write on the back of her tag. I named this one Jessie instead of Jess. So we've got Jessie and Jess. They look slightly different in the face to me. I'm not sure if you guys agree. I just think they're both cute couldn't decide which one to part with like that one was looking at me in the thrift store and then this one I've had since I was a little girl so I mean I couldn't I couldn't let it go and I have a beautiful son he can have one and I can have one <laughs> we can have little twin dogs anyway so that's Jess and Jesse. and last but not least is this one which is another one that my parents gave me when I was a little girl it is a World for Kids plush. It's quite big. It was from Kmart. There you are. 2005. World for Kids. I'm not sure if I wrote on the tag. Nope. This one's open to names. It kind of reminds me of the two Marys that I showed you before by Kiel Toys, but it's a lot bigger. Not sure if you can see that different size there in comparison to this little one. But obviously it's quite big. <laughs> anyway guys, that is the end of my Border Collie collection. I hope you've enjoyed looking at them with me. Um, if you've got any feedback or any comments or ones that you would like me to show you guys again, please just leave me a comment or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. So please don't be afraid. I love talking about plush toys and taking photos and videos. I just love it. Anyway, hope you're all keeping safe. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.